this is a video lecture series in knowing about electrical motors and the first video in the series is or the lecture one is about the motor principle so let's know what is electrical motor electrical motor is a machine which converts electrical energy to mechanical energy and it essentially has a conductor the principle at the basic level works as a conductor is placed in a magnetic field the conductor has current you imagine a conductor placed in a magnetic field and it has a current then it will experience a mechanical force and the direction of this force is given by Fleming's left hand rule and the force is given by F dot BIL equation so this is what Fleming's left hand rule looks like if you imagine that your middle finger points in the direction of the current and your index finger in the direction of the field then your thumb will always give the direction of the motion or the force direction so if you can see this diagram there is a pole there are two magnets with north and south poles and the direction of the field is from north to south pole and there is a conductor which is connected to a battery and the current is flowing in the conductor in the direction given by the arrow i and if you imagine that you place your middle finger in the direction of the current and your index finger in the direction of the field then the motion will happen in the upward direction in this case as shown by the arrow f and this is how an electrical motor works at the basic level or a single conductor electrical motor which will experience a force as you can see in this diagram. It's also that the construction of DC machine are very similar for both generator and motor and they can in be interchangeably used as motor and generators. If you look at a four pole electrical motor here, there are south, north pole alternating arrangement here and each the armature is a circular part shown in the middle and the conductor of the armature is supplied with current and it happens through commutator that these armature conductors are supplied current and each of this conductor according to the Fleming's left hand rule will experience a force and all the forces will act together in anti-clockwise direction all the forces in each conductor will be acting in anti-clockwise direction and it will produce a torque and this torque will finally cause the motion of or the rotation of the armature or the motor so you can see that the field magnets in the previous arrangement were four and and they were excited from a dc source and this produced a magnetic field in the motor similar to DC generators and there was field windings that was having north and south pole arrangement also the armature is supplied current from the means through commutator so a force will be induced in each conductor which will cause a, a torque to set up and this torque causes the armature to rotate this is how a DC motor works at the basic principle level that's all in understanding the working of DC motors if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment